Howdy, April Freakout. It's Ms. Kosh. I am finishing up 1-1 um, one, one notes from Mr. Passwater. So um, go watch that previous video. But this one seems to be, um, he ends his notes with a bunch of multiple choice, which is fantastic. Okay, um, so it says the figure shows a graph of K over the intervals from 0 to 9, as well as the six labeled points A, B, C, D, E, and F. Use the graph which of the following intervals is K negative and decreasing? So K is negative and decreasing. That means um, K is the function. So K is gonna be negative below the X axis. Um, it's increasing here and it's decreasing here and then it's increasing again. So it seems to be increasing, I lied. It seems to be decreasing here to here, um, but they didn't lab label this point, but that may be okay. It's definitely not A to B. It's definitely not B to C. Um, it could be, yeah, D to E seems to work, and then E to F, it's definitely not that. So, of our choices, the answer is C. Which of the following, oh, okay, I should, wrote all over it, now I'm going to have to do another problem. Um, the, which of the following statements about the rate of change of K is true? The rate of K, rate of change of K is negative. That means the graph will be decreasing from A to B. No, it's not decreasing. The rate of change of K is negative on the interval B to C. If the rate of change is negative, the graph is decreasing. From B to C, we are increasing, so no. The rate of change of K is positive. That means the graph is increasing from D to E. <coughs> D to E, we are decreasing. It wants us to increase. Um, the rate of change of K is positive on the interval from E to F. Rate of change is positive means the graph is increasing. From E to F, we are increasing, and luckily we have an answer. Okay. Um, can you see all of this? Can I zoom out? No, not really. Okay, well, here we go. Which of the following statements about K is true? The rate of change is decreasing on the interval from A to B. So um, the average, the rate of change is decreasing means it's concave down. So concave down, A to B is concave up. So no. Uh, rate of change is increasing from B to C. That means increasing means concave up. Um, B to C is concave down, so no. <coughs> Sorry, I have talked too much already, and it's still the morning. Okay, the rate of change is increasing. Increasing means it's concave up, D to E. D to E is concave up. Yes, that'll work. Um, let's check this last one just to make sure. Um, the rate of change is decreasing. That means concave down on the interval E to F. No, it's concave up, so we were correct. And the last one, um, on which of the following intervals uh, is K increasing and the graph is concave down? Okay, it needs to be, okay, they didn't talk about the rate of change in this problem. So we wanna be increasing and concave down, we're gonna look something like this. Okay, um, so coming back here, where am I, Where do I look something like that? This is increasing and concave down, B to C would work. Um, we're increasing again here, but that's concave up. So B to C is the only answer, um, and there we go. Okay, almost done with this set yippee 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 oh, i don't know what's wrong with me okay it is the first week of school y'all i'm a little delirious it is great it's wonderful okay on what intervals is f decreasing from here to here so um negative one to two and we talked in my last video i prefer soft brackets but my colleagues some of them prefer hard brackets and i think ap would be okay with either i don't know that they're going to make you write problems like this i think it'll show up in multiple choice okay um so on this one, they've given us a graph from negative 5 to 5. Point A is located at negative 1, there it is, negative 1, 0, and the only point where it changes concavity. So we are concave down, we are concave up. Very nice. Um, what interval is, uh, is G decreasing in the graph? Um, so we want G to decrease and the graph be concave up. So it should look something like this, decreasing and concave up. Where do we look like this? From here to, that looks like it's going to 1, so negative 1 to 1. On what intervals is the rate of change positive? Um, the rate of change. Okay, so notice this was talking about G, and now this is talking about rate of change. So the rate of change is positive. That means my graph is increasing um, and decreasing. That means it's concave down. Okay, so increasing and concave down will look something like that, um, which is negative 5 to negative 3. All right, I'm going to go get a drink of water because I'm struggling. And um, I will come back to the next video for we will continue with his notes on 1.2. So like, subscribe, comment to all the things, and I will see you in the next video.